A thing that really appeals to me personally is the care of wildlife. And I see Care for Wild Africa, Petra Nel Nevote, you care for wild Africa. Now, I've seen you in the newspapers and I've seen you in all sorts of different pieces. How did you get involved in a thing like this? You know what? Uh, I'm so glad you're asking that because you don't get involved with it. I think you're born with it. Mm. Um, I think one morning I just woke up and God said, listen, this is your sticker. That is mm. what you need to go and do. Mm. One morning someone said to me, you know, you appoint someone to be accountant. I said, well, God appointed me to look after the, the animals, so you better not get in my way. And it's true. It's from very, very small. There was always animals in the house. There was always, I always bring something home. If things stand around, I will take them home and hand rear them. If you stand around, I'll take you home and hand rear you. So, yeah, that is just something that I have a severe passion just to, to see the freedom in them again. I, I think everybody that's watching is going to see the passion in your face. Your <laughs> eyes light up, your face smiles <laughs> there with, with animals. Do you hurt sometimes? Yeah, uh, some. I cry uh, when I see yeah, an animal. You know what? Sometimes, like, mm. like the other day, and it's very funny. I've been hand rearing a, a baby owl, a spotted eagle owl, and um, he came in with with maggots in his ear, and his one leg was broken, and I hand reared him and I released him, and um, it looks like another. He was in the territory, and mm. another raptor attacked him, and some of the scouts came with this bird back to me. And the second I saw him, I knew it was Dot. Mm. And I couldn't save him. But the wonderful thing is he, he, he were free and so on. Mm. And one other thing is that I found with the baby rhinos, I don't think people know that when, they, when they're coming in, they're traumatized. They just saw their mom being killed. Yeah. There's guns, there's people, there's, there's blood. Satara so came in from an area near Nuanetsi near Skukuza and I couldn't work out. I know this smell so well. And I found uh, Dr. Peter and I said, Peter, what is this smell on Satara? I don't know. This. She doesn't smell like a rhino. And he said to me, uh, her mom was shot just underneath the eye and she was still running for a good day. And that blood, it's the blood that I'm smelling on Satara and the color was dark. So those things just hammer you. Then they fell asleep and then someone through the, somewhere through the night they will wake up and they will cry that it goes into your core. It, it, mm. it, it, it rips you apart. It's a baby, isn't it? It's, a ba it's just a baby. It's just a baby. Aren't we cruel as humans sometimes? Yes, you, could, you don't believe. Once you saw them coming in and Normally I say to the people that must, they must go, they must leave mm. me alone with the baby because they tell, they tell you the story. The most time you spend mm. with them, they tell you the story. Mm. Um, Tana came in and uh, uh, she was completely uh, um, stressed out. And I suddenly realized it's nothing else than a, a such, such a fear for humans. Mm. So I had to build through that fear and say, okay, now I'm putting all mm. rhinos shit all over myself to smell differently and then start again from the beginning. In Is that what you're doing? Because I saw you blindfold, blindfold some of these babies yes, yeah. and then you get them to acclimatize to you. Yes. So you become a mother. Yes, completely. I climb, normally I climb in, uh, in the crates. We get them in, mm. in, in, in a, walk them into a crate, blindfolded, earplug, mm. tranquilized. Then slowly but surely, you bring them out of there, and as soon as I drink well, you know, you know. Okay, mm. now I can take the earplugs out. Now you, they know your voice. Then we sat there and sing to them and play guitar. Mm. Have so, you ever been attacked? Has any have any of these animals turned on you? No, um, I think I think because I grew up with them, there's a body language. Uh, yeah, you know, that's quite interesting. Sometimes I le mm. I read so many body languages that that yeah. I think people hide what they, their true feelings is by having a different body language. Animals can't do yeah. that. There's a body language of, I'm, I'm scared, I'm aggressive. And the way you move around that animals, if, like you say, if you, if you are moving too fast yeah. from the side of a rhino and he swings, he will hurt you, but it's not yeah. him. You just came into his eyesight at the yeah. wrong angle. Yeah. You have to let him know, listen, yeah. I'm here, I'm here, yeah. I'm here. 
touching, I'm coming around now. So you always ask permission. Yeah. No, I've never been injured. I wish we had a lot more time to sit and I talk because I could sit forever and talk about this. But I've got to talk about Rock 4. And, and I mean, this is unbelievable. On the 28th of June at Super Sport Park in Centurion. Yeah. One of the most prolific groups in the world are going to perform there to save the rhino. And that's Dire Straits. Yeah. How on earth did you pull that one off? I don't know. You know what? That's so, some of these things, you know, like I said, Things are just sometimes coming together. Yeah. And we're all fighting the same fight. We're fighting the rhino fight. We're going to win the war. Are they against the, the, the dire straits? Also, or... Yeah, they full on for, for helping us with the rhinos and the fight to save the rhino. And through Tom Cleary and so on, we, we, and, and, and Michael Jackson, yeah. we, they contacted us and we said, listen, let's do this. Let's do this concert. And I said, well, then money won't be for yeah. nothing. You know, it will be for something. You know, that song, Money for Nothing well, and saw, Chicks for Free. <laughs> yeah, I saw this freshly ground Arno Carstens, yeah. Matthew yeah. Mole, Iso and Lara Gear, and B B Bedouin C coming from Australia. Yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's a great lineup for that. It's going to be a great absolutely. night that night yeah. and for a good yeah. cause. Yeah, absolutely true. Yeah. 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 I, I still can't get over how you pulled this one off, but because <laughs> dire straits aren't working together anymore. Yeah, that's true. So it's more the straits, they reformed yeah. formed now as the straits. Yeah. And um, we will have them coming to the sanctuary as well. They, they really mm. want to, to meet the little ones and they, they want to see how it is to, to mm. be with them. And I think if I can, can get them to sleep mm. with them one evening, mm. they will be sold. I think they will be coming every year. It's time for the people to stand up. It's time for them to say, we're going to save these, these big, big animals with the small, small hearts. Because working closely together with the rhinos is showing me how small hearts are. That's why God made them so big.